On today's episode, we're going to be discussing a wild-eyed, hard-fighting, hard-partying, cane-wielding, enemy-stomping man that went by the name of Old Hickory. His name? Andrew Jackson. Hmm, who was Andrew Jackson? Andrew Jackson was the seventh president of the United States. He was president of the United States from 1829 to 1837. Andrew Jackson was born in South Carolina in 1767. He was the first person to come from poverty and become president of the United States. He was the youngest of three sons of Scotch-Irish immigrants. He grew up in rural South Carolina and attended local schools before leaving school to join the army at age 13 during the American Revolution. He was in a battle and was later captured by the British, making him the only president to have been a prisoner of war. Jackson was magnetic and charming, but he had a quick temper that got him into a lot of trouble and many duels, two of which left bullets inside of him. He was the first person to represent Tennessee in the United States House of Representatives, and he also served in the United States Senate and on the Tennessee Superior Court. That is the state's highest court. Andrew was the first war hero since George Washington to become president. As a general during the War of 1812, he became famous for defeating the British in the Battle of New Orleans. People called him the Hero of New Orleans, or Old Hickory, because they thought he was as tough as a hickory tree. After President Adams acquired Florida from the Spanish, Andrew Jackson was named as Florida's military governor. He served from March to December of 1821. In 1824, Andrew Jackson ran for president. He ran against John Quincy Adams, but lost. Jackson immediately began campaigning again to run again in the next election. On March the 4th of 1829, Andrew Jackson was inaugurated as president of the United States. Friends that had grown up with Andrew Jackson were shocked. Some said, well, if Andrew Jackson can become president, anyone can. While in office, Jackson insisted that he was there to represent the people, not to go along with Congress. He was the first president to veto many bills. One of his first official acts was to fire almost 1,000 of the government's approximately 10,000 workers. He replaced them with his own supporters. This became known as the spoil system, when a senator who opposed Jackson's actions complained to the victor belonged the spoils. Jackson believed that the National Bank had too much control over the economy, so he stripped it of its powers. That eventually led to a financial panic. In 1830, Congress passed the Indian Removal Act, which gave presidents the power to force Native Americans off of their lands in the Southeast. Jackson ordered soldiers to move the Cherokee, Seminole, Creek, and other Native groups from their homelands to the American West. There's no doubt about the fact that Andrew Jackson's policies towards Native Americans were extraordinarily harsh. He wanted the Cherokees, the Creeks, and other groups in the East to give up their lands and move west of the Mississippi River in order to make room for white settlers. In reflecting upon the life of Andrew Jackson, one must marvel at the fact that a person in the United States that was born into poverty could become president of the United States, but that doesn't excuse the major atrocities that he committed against Native Americans. Andrew Jackson was, is, and will continue to be a polarizing figure in American history. Thank you so much for watching. Feel free to check out our Teachers Pay Teachers store, follow us on Instagram, like us on Facebook, and check out our many Pinterest boards. If you like this video, hop on over to our YouTube channel where you can check out many exciting videos like the one that you've just seen. And feel free to check out our blog at www.bowtieguyandwife.com.